Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to recover um, Excel files when they've been deleted and how to do that if you've deleted the files and for some reason they're not in the recycle bin and you just can't find them anywhere. Um, they may have been accidentally deleted and with special software you can actually recover those, those Excel files and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is Go ahead and uh, visit the link below this video or go to recovermyfilesnow.com, which I have in my address bar here. And there's a piece of software that'll allow you to download to recover those files and basically get them back. Um, it's not just Excel files, it works on all types of files. And it doesn't matter whether the Excel file was on a thumb drive or a hard drive or an external drive or whatever. So first thing you're going, you're going to want to do is go to the site and uh, click the free download button. Um, go ahead and download that and get that installed and I'll show you how it, how it works. Okay, once you've installed the software, go ahead and launch it. Double click on the icon and it'll bring up uh, this window. This is the first panel within the, the software. And there's a few different options here. There's some tabs. Um, what I like to do for finding uh, specific files is really go to the advanced tab. Um, you can type in the name of the file if you want. I haven't found that that always works so I tend to like to just run a um, a full scan on wherever I think that file may be. Um, in this case we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna all these areas to scan we're gonna leave those checked but you can check you know you can do your C drive or any of your other removable drives or whatever you have uh, that's attached to your computer. In this case I'm gonna run the scan on this uh, thumb drive that I have here um, just for speed's sake. We'll go ahead and we'll start the scan. And what it does is the software runs and it's scanning all the items to um, see what files are recoverable. Now it's not just Excel files, it's anything else that's on there. But what it does, what's kind of cool about it during the, the, during the scan, is that you can see where it's found documents. In this case we've found three documents it finds folders. If it were image files, it would group those together as image files. So in this case, since we're looking for an Excel file specifically, um, we want to go to the Documents tab. I'm going to go ahead and stop this real quick. So if we go to the Documents tab, you'll see I've got my XLS file here. I've got an XLS X version. Obviously, I deleted the XLS at some point and made it into the newer version. Um, so to recover that file, it's as simple as just clicking on here. Whichever files you want to recover, you can do both of them. You can do, um, if there are a bunch of uh, Excel documents, you can just do the whole thing. And it'll tell you where it's going to recover it. Um, down here at the bottom, it tells you where the recovering location is going to be. So it's basically going to dump these files into a new folder. So all you got to do is press the Recover button here. And the files will go to the Recover folder. and uh, Where's my recovered items? All right, there's the recovered items. So you can see how it recovered those items in, into the folder. Now there's one thing um, about this software. In order to recover the items, you do have to purchase a registration key. Um, I believe it's around $40. Um, I've looked at a lot of other software options. Um, some run as high as $200 and they don't even allow you to do a free scan. The advantage of this software is the fact that you can download it, you run the scan on your computer, and it shows you exactly what files you can recover. So before you commit to purchasing anything, you can actually see if the files are going to be recoverable. So that's it for this video. I hope that helps.